Hello there from Blackpool Seafront. It's the end of January 2024 and you can probably see the crane behind me. That is because today the new Big One track is being lifted into place for another retrack. Once again, the track has been done by Tazika, a Lancashire based company who have worked with Blackpool Pleasure Beach now every close season since 2019 to manufacture a new track for the Big One. I will be here for the whole duration of the track being lifted on. The weather is absolutely terrible, it is chucking it down, so it's not really a day to be stood on Blackpool Seafront, but here we are, here to see uh, another one of these retracking updates today. It's always fascinating to watch and see a piece of the red track in the distance there. So if you do enjoy this video or just enjoy Blackpool Pleasure Beach updates like this one, please hit that like button as on a day like today. That will be massively appreciated. I am already soaking wet. I've only been here for five minutes, so uh, it's going to be a long day, but Looking forward to seeing the track going on and uh, yeah, see how it goes. I'm not going to use my big camera today, so the zoom shots might not be as close up as they have been on these updates before, but it's just not the weather for getting the big camera out, unfortunately. So using the vlogging camera today, maybe the GoPro, but yeah, I will cover the whole heat tracking session today, start to finish in this wonderful Blackpool weather. It's always fascinating to see. So yeah. Let's get started. section lifted on that section was actually one of the original sections of big one track that's been refurbished and lifted back on all remaining track sections that are going to go on today are going to be brand new sections i believe now currently as you can probably guess i'm back in the car sheltering from the rain uh, i've paid to park in blackpool which is quite a rarity for me normally i don't bother i normally just park on a free side street but i'm right next to basically where the action's going on in my car here so when the next bit of track's brought round and when the crane moves into position to lift it on, you can get out the car, get the cameras ready and start filming again. But for now, it makes sense to shelter outside of the rain, otherwise it's gonna be a cold and grim day, to be honest, even though I do enjoy watching the track going on. Literally, as I stopped recording that last talking bit, the new track went past on the back of the lorry, so time that really well. Time to head back outside and uh, watch the next bit of track being lifted on. I'm not entirely sure how many is left to go up. It could be two or three. I'm not completely sure. There is still a sizable gap though between the new track and the old track with the gap in between. So I reckon it could well be three more sections to go in, but of course it depends how long the track sections are that are going in. It's been interesting so far. Whilst Blackpool Seafront has mostly been quiet, I have been getting heckled from somebody in the Boulevard Hotel, which is quite funny really. I don't know if it's a staff member or if it's a member of the public who are bored, but either way, it's uh, also been stood on the promenade, so what they've been shouting is actually nonsense because they're telling me to stop filming it and I'm not allowed to, but um, I'm on a public footpath, so you are actually allowed to film from a public footpath. Obviously, you got to film within reason, but when you're filming some bits of steel being lifted up onto a roller coaster from a public walkway, there's nothing illegal about that, so whether they're a staff member or not, um, it's just a little bit daft to have someone shouting stop effing filming from a hotel room in the Boulevard Hotel. A little bit odd, but 
you do see some odd things in Blackpool. I've seen worse, I've heard worse, but yeah, wasn't expecting that today. But either way, if you are the heckler and you are watching, thanks for watching and please keep watching. Remember to hit that thumbs up button. Yeah, on to the fourth bit of track going in then. There's track section number four. Get quite lucky with this because every time they pull up, they end up behind a red light, giving me a chance to film it like this. Doesn't look like a massive track section that, so I'm gonna guess that there is still three more to go on, after, including this one anyway. So currently four track sections have been lifted in today. There's three more sections to go. Uh, I've had a little drive round to the other side of Pleasure Beach, uh, been to WG Beans, had a sausage bat, got a brew, thought I'd have a quick look on the car park without going on the car park to see how many track sections were left. So there's still three track sections on the car park. I believe it's break time. And it's probably a good idea because it is absolutely chucking it down now. So. Uh, Good time to have a break and good time for me to just sit in the car and wait for this weather to pass. Just a reminder that there is only one person stupid enough to be out on Blackpool seafront right now. I will do a full spin because I am stupid to be watching this, but it's the most iconic roller coaster in the country, so got to be here for these updates. I've been here for all of the other ones, so I've got to be here for this one as well. So if you are enjoying this, please hit that like button. Can you get this video up to 500 likes? I would seriously appreciate that right now because it is absolutely chucking it down, but I'm not giving in now. I'm here, I've been here from the start, staying till the end. The fifth section is still being lifted in, but I've come back to the car to shelter for a couple of minutes, as you can probably see from that footage just then, it is pouring down. Um, so again, just bearing in mind that I don't want to completely write off the cameras for the sake of one video. So back inside for a short while, um, I can see the action going on up, up on the crane from in the car, so we'll still try and get some shots, but it will probably be from behind the windscreen. And uh, yeah, it's good to see the progress, even in this terrible weather, they are doing a great job. Track sections are now up on the big one. The seventh one has just pulled up on the back of the lorry. Well, the track section didn't pull up itself. It was on the back of the lorry. Uh, so that one's gonna be lifted into place now. Of course, everyone here will be keeping their fingers crossed that it fits. I'm sure it will do. But with anything like this, anything can happen. But yeah, looking forward to seeing this going in because then I can go home and sit in the warm. Because as you can see, there is still no one daft enough to be on the seafront because it is still chucking it down. You can probably tell by my coat as well that it's just wet through. But yeah, I do have a change of clothes, luckily. 
going to be needed for the 76 mile drive home after this but once again I ask a big favour if you are watching this video please hit that like button let's get this one up to 500 likes it will be massively appreciated right time to see the last bit of track going up Well, there we go. All seven track sections are in on the big one ahead of the 2024 season. Now, it is worth me pointing out at this point that the retrack is not just for smoothness, it is because of wear and tear reasons. So, whilst we would all like to see the turnaround and helix done next, hint, hint, um, yeah, that section that's been done now is obviously the priority section purely because the wear and tear was probably worse there than anywhere else. So, as much as we'd all like a smooth experience on the big one throughout, it's also worth remembering that these retracks are because of wear and tear and not just for the riders' enjoyment. So, I just had to mention that. Um, yeah, that is all from today. It is absolutely freezing now, as well as wet. So, I'm going to wrap this up, get the heating on in the car, drive home, and uh, probably need the heating on for about three weeks to warm up after today. Once again, if you have enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It does massively help the channel and I would really, really appreciate it. So many thanks for watching. See you next time.